Hello viewers, welcome to Engineering Study Materials. Today we are going to discuss about the Rapid Prototyping otherwise known as 3D Printing. It is the new technology that has emerging in recent days. So let's get into this video. Rapid Prototyping is a 3D printing technique that uses a 3D model into a real life model. It is using a machine called a Rapid Prototyping device that uses a series of mechanisms to develop a real life product. First of all, a 3D model is created in a softwares such as SolidWorks Cataya and it is converted into a another 3D model which supports a format for the 3D printing machine. Then it is made into a real life model. Then why we use rapid prototyping? It decreases the lead time and facilitates concurrent engineering. That is, concurrent engineering means that de several departments made connections with each other. That is, the research department, the design department, manufacturing, marketing are collaborated each other so that a correct or an accurate design can be developed from these departments and can be manufactured and served to the customers and it allows the visualization of more ideas if you make a design in a computer but we not judge how the design is in uh, it, it will be handy or not so that the rapid prototyping is the best method to know how the product looks like and how it performs like the real one then it the design process includes the concept is discussed uh, how the product should be by a set of members such as brainstorming sessions are conducted and concepts are made then preliminary design or a conceptual design is made by the group of members but the design includes uh, no accurate or a dimensional accuracy then correct diagrams with accurate dimensions are made as a drawings then it can be developed into a model using a software and analysis are performed then physical prototype model is prepared then it can be tested further for to get the optimum results and then manufactured if it is not supposed to have um, not a good design then the process is repeated for the further process then Prototype classification. There are generally uh, two types of prototype that is a conceptual and the physical prototype. Conceptual is the some brainstorming sessions including the team members, managers, servers, uh, clients are made into a group and decide what kind of product they want to be. And then physical prototype includes three types that is form, fit and function. The form includes the design verification, marketing, communication tool and but it not uh, has the dimensional accuracy and non-technical people such, such as the company staffs and clients um, use the product and how the product looks and feels. Then fit. In this, they judge the assembly and fit how long it, it performs and it uh, it is designed with good dimensional tolerances then function it is the testing process the material should be similar to the actual part and it should function as the original part and it should perform well then traditional prototyping steps first of all engineering drawings are drawn and make into a model in the software then the prototype is prepared that is a part usually machined then problems uh, happening in this are material incompatibility shop specialization design limited by the prototype tools available and part too complex to produce and machine deficiencies that is some of the machines cannot perform some process than the other so special machines are required to perform the process but it is not happening in the 3d machine as it uses the new technology such as stereolithography solid freeform manufacturing etc 
then the cost of the traditional prototyping is also uh, a high process or a high cost one that is a skillful craftsman is required time required and the how to sell these are all the problems then numerical control machining the process includes starts with the solid model from the some CAD package that is SOLIDWORKS, PROE, CATIA etc. Then creating the desired tool paths, the product uh, needs how many tools that is correct tools required for the processing or man manufacturing or machining of the part. Then advantages of NC over the traditional machining are it reduces the time, identical parts created from one source code. If you want to make another part, this, this source code can be changed further so that we can obtain uh, another similar one. Then faster feed rates store the code in a fluffy so that we can save time by writing the codes. Then problems are tool, tools, fixtures, refixturing. These are the main three problems undergoing in the traditional machining then some history first of all programmable machines is created in 1800s then a code uh, giving or a code input machine uh, is, per, is manufactured or discovered in 1950s then machining centers they use multiple tools to perform the machining operations then nc software emerged the g codes and m codes that is geometric and machine codes are developed and feed into the nc software so that the machine can take that as an input and produce the machining process and give the product as an output Pro programs you now perform calculations for the user complicated geometries are handled easily by the user then nc machining requires a skillful operator to set up the machine and to specify tools its speed its feed rate and raw materials for this reason only many do not consider nc machining to be a true rapid prototype because everything is fed into the machine by the user itself so that it is a tedious one so true rp should create a part from some model without any assistance that is human should not intervene in on its processing steps so that only it will be a true rapid prototyping then nc machine do have some benefits that is it can um, perform uh, machining operations in a wide range of materials and it has a better accuracy than most the true prototyping techniques and it, it is impossible to manufacture some complex parts that is that is of a very thin thickness then a product or a process called solid free form manufacturing emerges this includes uh, many uh, restrict true prototyping to solid free form procedures that is the CAD or a CAM program takes the shape and models it as a series of a thin layers stacked upon one another if you want to model a, a square block it is in solid free form manufacturing it considered as a layer by layer of 50 layers of a sheet that is uh, that will make a solid cube the solid free form manufacturing process that for, then forms a part a layer at a time starting at the bottom and working towards the top but it has a trouble because the gluing or the sticking of the one layer to another and overhanging that is if you want a inverted l shape the gap is found in this like this a gap will be formed in this inverted l so that we want to place a support material so that it will not fall in into the ground so that a support must be used to form the next layer and it should be glued to the original part so the sfm layer formation methods includes there are generally two types that is solid as well as the liquid the solid includes in case of a powder and in case of a bulk in case of powder the component 
are made by using a selective laser centric that is powder are uh, make into a compact shape and laser is used to, to uh, melt and bind the powder and component and binder 3d printing and gluing technology the powder is used to 3d print and gluing is used to, to stick on the powder into it and bulk the gluing sheets laminated object manufacturing method is used and polymerization foil polymerization is used in case of the liquid liquid polymerization and melt solidification are used in liquid solidification light is used as a material to heat two frequencies beam interference solid and thermal polymerization method are used that is lamps and lasers are used solid based curing that is photosolid layer at a time and stereolithography in the melting and solidification shape melting that is fused deposition molding modeling that is uh, some form of uh, liquid are packed and then uh, heat is used to, to make a solid and ballistic particle manufacturing some of the sfm layer technologies includes our stereolithography photo solidification layer at a time solid based curing fused deposition modeling ballistic particle manufacturing 3d printing directional production casting selective laser centering laminated object manufacturing these are the topics that are to be discussed in the upcoming videos so this is a short video friends about the rapid prototyping and solid free form manufacturing if you like this video please put a thumbs up and share this video to your friends to gain knowledge and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos so thank you for watching